Good afternoon, YTPC Buckeye Piper. Doing my next installment of the 2019 Codger Blend Tobacco Challenge. And we're doing it here today from Windy, Virginia Beach, Virginia. So I'm uh, coming at you today from there. Um, so today we're going to review Velvet, Velvet Pipe Tobacco. So it has been windy as all get out here. So what's interesting, uh, a little off subject is, you know, I don't smoke in public much. And when you see people passing, you're always thinking they're judging you or something. Everybody's looking like, oh, you're smoking a pipe. You don't see a lot of pipe smokers. So maybe they're in awe or maybe they just pass in judgment. Either way, whatever. Uh, we're on vacation, so I'm not going to want to worry me too much. But back to the review. So Velvet. Um, when you look at the package, it's pretty simple. I, I really like the color here. I like the I, I like the the font, the T. I like what they've done with the the pipe on the on the presentation, and I like the yellow border there. I think it really makes that pop. So I'm going to say that's a three in terms of package presentation. Now, getting into tobacco presentation, and I just blew tobacco on me. It is very windy out here. <coughs> Do a little sample. The tobacco presentation to me, um, similar to most of the other OTC codgers I've reviewed, this one is not near as dry. And this one has a little bit more darker, I don't know if you can see that, a little bit more darker um, coloring to it. Um, a little bit longer cut it's not so much and it might be a crimp cut i don't know to me it looks a little bit more ribbon um, i couldn't find much information on that but i'm going to give it a three i think it looks appealing when you look at it um, again it's not like in the, in the level of a scudo or something like that that i really like well i'm going to three with it um so next we're going to review the aroma in the package Much, much like all the other OTC blends I've reviewed, this has a really nice chocolatey smell, and I pick up hints of cherry, at least I do. So it's very pleasant to me. So I would give that a four um, in terms of, of how I would review that, as in terms of smell and package. Now, fragrance or aroma while smoking, um, it's had to contend with a lot of wind and it's been very tough. I get that, but it's been pleasant. Um, Mrs. Buckeye Piper said it was a pleasant, a pleasant uh, smell as well. It's not overwhelming. So I'm at a two with it. Um, and then lastly, taste while smoking. Much, much like some of the other Kajiro TC blends. I've I've not gotten a lot out of this one. This one has smoked super, super hot to me. It's, it's really been hot in the way it's smoked. And I uh, don't know if that's just because I smoked it maybe a little too wet or what the case may be, but um, it's, it's smoked pretty, pretty warm. In terms of flavor, it's not bad. I could pick up very, very, very subtle chocolatey notes. Um, it has kind of a cigarette-y taste, which I've heard other people say. So, you know, all in all, I would give I would give the taste a two as well. So I'm at a three for the package, a three for the um, I lost my train of thought. A three for the tobacco presentation. I'm at a, at, at a three for uh, or a four for the aroma in the package. So that's what a ten. I'm at a two for the aroma while smoking and a two for the aroma while uh, taste the taste while smoking. So. Um, I'm a little distracted, sorry, there's a lot of people walking around with dogs and interested in what we're doing, but I'm at a two for the taste, so two for aroma, two for taste. So all in, I'm at a 14 out of 25 for Velvet. Um, Keen Rod Piper made a good comment today, I commented on one of his videos about Mixture 79, and he had a good good comment, but something to keep in mind on my Codger, Codger blends is, these are initial review uh, videos. If I smoke six or seven bowls, my my review will probably change. But this is the, the intent and the purpose was really to get an initial gut shot review of how 
these tobaccos perform and taste. Um, you know, as, as I was talking to Kane Rod today, he said, you know, with Mixture 79, give it six or seven bowls and you're going to change your opinion of it. So, Velvet's definitely one I would pick up. It, there's nothing wrong with it. I could see it's a classic. It's been around for years as well. Another one made by Scandinavian Tobacco Group, which pretty much make everything. I'm almost convinced now that they, they have one big thing of tobacco and just put a little different toppings on each one and put, put na different names on them and send them out. And I know they don't do that, but, um, you know, it's just interesting. Um, but all in all, you know, it's worth, it's worth it. It's worth the time. It's worth it. Not my favorite yet. You know, it's, I think Lane Ready Rubbed is still in the lead, but 14 out of 25 is not bad for Velvet. So, um, again, thank you all for taking the time to watch today. Uh, stay safe. Be blessed. We'll catch you next time. Have a good day.